What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Hernandez Vlogs. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, that way you guys never miss a new video. Today's a real special day, you guys. If you guys do remember, Alma had explained how I was trying to see if I was able to bring my dog to my house, right? We had to go through a lot of paperwork, had to submit all kinds of documents until finally, you guys, we got it approved, which is awesome. It's a special day for myself because I'm actually gonna be bringing my dog home, but I'm sure it's not a special day for everybody else. Like I did mention, my dog is currently at my mother's in-law's house and everybody in that house really loves him, you know? So it's gonna be uh, pretty sad for them to know that he's finally gonna be leaving since he's been staying there for some time now. I am gonna get their reactions. Now, as far as right now, you guys, I'm outside right here of PetSmart. What I'm doing out here is I'm gonna go in there to get a house for my dog and also a bed. Once I get that stuff, I'll go ahead and pick up that way I'm able to show you guys exactly what I'm getting, all right? So let's head on it. So item number one we're gonna need for him, you guys, is of course some diapers, the dog pads. That way he doesn't shit all over the place. Literally, you guys, our backyard is all concrete, so I would hate to have to scrub all of his shit off of there or his piss so that's why i'm buying these and i'm actually going to be asking about some little spray that you could actually spray on there so that the, when the dog smells it he knows to automatically like use the restroom there this here's the spray that i was telling you guys about so as you can see right here mira lo que dice dice uh encourages dogs to go where you want them to urinate i've heard a lot about this right here so i'm gonna go ahead and try it out hopefully it works by the way you guys uh, my dog He's not necessarily potty trained, but I did have him on a schedule to where he already knows that from certain time to certain time, he had to go outside to use the restroom. So he never used the restroom. But again, he hasn't lived with me for a couple of months now. So I'm sure by now he forgot about those habits, but we're gonna go ahead and retrain him, you guys. I was thinking of getting him a house, but in reality, he's not even gonna spend a lot of the time outside. Uh, he's mostly gonna be outside just like when we're gone, when we're not home. So. In reality, all we need is kind of like just a mat for outside or something. A lot of the time he's gonna spend inside, so I don't know, I was kind of looking at this one right here. Yeah, but you see, I'm looking for something where his hair doesn't stick all over the place because, you see. Oh yeah, like this, look you guys. This right here is gonna be perfect. Let me show you guys this right here. Let me check that out. That's perfect right there. It has like a bunch of little cushion and it looks like hair won't stick on it either when i take off to work there's a gap to where he would be staying home all by himself and i wouldn't want him to be outside so alma and i agreed that we're gonna get him like a cage like a cage like that um believe me i'm against leaving dogs in cages but we were thinking maybe just putting him in a cage for at least the hour and a half gap it takes for her to get home from when i'm gone um, just so that he doesn't like use the restroom all over the house or things like that at least till he's used to you know the schedule we're gonna put him on as far as going outside to use the bathroom and stuff like that so I was looking at this one right here it's pretty cool you guys I mean I'm thinking it may be just a little too big for him these are the different sizes they have yeah my dog is not that big <laughs> so oh look that looks like him right there <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at this one right here. It looks like this one's gonna do the work. Obviously, this one right here is like for tiny little dogs. So this is the one that makes sense so far. The sizes of it are 37 by 23. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's take this one. I had picked this one right here so that he could lay on. And I was thinking of putting that one in here in the kennel, but it obviously looks like the dimensions on that one are gonna be a little too small. So it seems like I'm gonna have to take this one that's just a little smaller, but that's fine, you guys. I was already thinking of taking two of them, one for the kennel and another one just so that he could like be outside or whenever he goes outside, if he wants to lay down or something, he could just lay down on that mat. But if you guys could hear that, what I like about these is that it says it's water repellent. I'm thinking just to be safe, you know, if he has an accident in, in his kennel or something, by the time Alma gets home from work, It'll be easy to wash off. We got everything he needs. We got his bed, his other bed, his kennel, and his diapers. All we need now, you guys, is just a formula. 
<laughs> so let's head over to the cash register so we can pay. I'm here to pick up Hulk and he could already smell me. I could already hear him from the door. Look. Take him out. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Guess what, Isaiah? Guess what? Guess where Hulk's going? I'm taking him home. Harleen, I'm taking Hulk home. Are you sad? Yeah. Are you gonna miss him? Yeah. You, Jose? Yeah? Where's Xavier? Xavier, are you gonna miss Hulk? Yeah? How much? A lot or a little bit? A lot. How about you, Hulk? Are you gonna miss them? Come on. Come on. Come on, Hulk, let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go. It looks like they already replaced you, bro. Look. Come on. Come on, let's let's go say goodbye bye to your grandma. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say bye to your grandma. And you kill David. Bye, Hulk. <laughs> Alright, everybody say bye to Hulk. We're taking him home. Lisa, say bye. Bye, <laughs> So this is how sad the kids were that they literally wanted to come with me to come welcome Hulk to his new house. Come on, guys. Alright, so let's see how he likes it. Let's see what he does. Walking in. I really hope he doesn't pee all over the place. Eyes <laughs> and poop. I really miss him. Alright guys, so there he is. Check it out. <laughs> Hulk, come here. Come on. Look, can you guys see that? You see how he has like little white spots on the... Oh, Alma's gonna be mad when she sees this video. She literally just bought this rug right here. Oh, you guys, look, check it out. We finally got our couches, by the way. So, Hulk has these white little spots on his back. Uh, I need to take him to the vet. Not too sure what it could be. I did some research, and it kind of says that, it, well, it basically says that because of all the bacteria from the dirt, it could be that's, that that's why he's getting all those spots. And over there at my mother-in-law's house, there is a lot of concrete, but there's also a lot of dirt all over the place. So when he, whenever he had to go use the restroom, he went to where the dirt piles were. And I'm thinking he would probably lay down over there and stuff. So we really got to get that checked out. But for now, I still have some of his, I still have some of his uh, allergy pills. So I'm gonna start giving him those as well. And you guys, we're gonna get him back to how he was way before. And not to say that my mother-in-law doesn't take care of him because trust me, she loves him. She really, really took good care of him, but the only thing is that, you know, there's nothing like its own owner taking care of him, you know what I mean? I wanted to show you guys his setup. Um, it's not a big backyard we have back there, you guys, but basically, um, as just to let you guys know, he's not gonna be spending all his time out here, but I do have him like a little diaper back here. Watch, check it out. That little diaper right there, that way he uses the restroom right here. Over here, we have his water and his food. Now, there's something that I sprayed on the little uh, on the little diaper, the spray that I showed you guys earlier in the video as well. Um, I think I sprayed a little too much. When I come back here now, my, my head smells because I think I'm only supposed to do <laughs> Your like head one smell? spray. No. <laughs> it smells. No, when I come back here now, my head hurts. Yeah. I think I'm only supposed to spray like one or two sprays but I sprayed like four or five of them thinking he was gonna go to the bathroom right away. But let's see if it works. Um, right now, uh, I'm gonna go inside, that way we can go ahead and put up the, the crate, and I'll show you guys once I'm done putting it up to see if he's even gonna wanna go in there, because according to other people, when it's their first time in crates, which I'm not sure if it's his first time, but at least with me it is his first time, I guess it's pretty hard for them to accommodate going in there and stuff or getting used to it, but let's go check it out, you guys. I just got done putting the crate together and let's see if Hope's gonna like being in there. Hope. Get up, boy. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, you guys, check it out. That's the kennel right there. It's not too big. I kind of wanted to get a bigger one, but I'm glad I didn't because it fit just perfect. 
the one I wanted to get was probably like a half size bigger than that. Oh, come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I went to grab a treat to see if I could lure him in there. And look at him. Look how he gets to the street. I'm going to give him a little piece, you guys. Watch, check it out. Ready? Catch. <laughs> it landed right on his forehead. Come on, boy. Get it, boy. Get it. Good boy. Good boy, yo. He looks real happy. I mean, he's always been happy. Like I said, he was at my suegra's house. And they take really, really good care of them. Um, but if, most, if you guys do know this kind of breed right here, you already know that this breed's real, real delicate. They get sick all the time. You really gotta stay on top of them with maintenance, with like showers, with all kinds of stuff. And him, by the way, you guys, he's the type of dog that he does not eat if I'm not sitting right there right next to him. So I'm glad I'm finally gonna have him here. That way I could get him fat again, get him going pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be scheduling, scheduling them an appointment. I'm not sure if it's going to be tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be sometime this week to see exactly what the vet says about his, um, the little rashes he has going on on his body. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. Hey, say hi. Hello. Enjoying our couches over there. He's feeding him. I was gonna open the door and go out there, but if I open the door, he stops eating. He has to have someone there feeding him. <laughs> or else, when he comes out, he like goes back. Are you guys sad that yeah. Hulk's staying here now? Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys gonna cry? Yeah. Stop picking your nose, nasty. I'm not going like this. Papa, you were crying earlier, huh? Yeah. Because you guys are gonna miss Hulk, remember? Yeah. Are you? Let's go. Before we wrap it up, I do want to remind you guys about the giveaway. Go to my Instagram page and uh, follow the steps. That way you guys can join the giveaway. If you are new, make sure you're subscribing to this channel. Um, again, thank you guys all for helping us reach 100 subscribers. We're, as a matter of fact, I think right now we're at 120 something, but don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. That way you guys never miss a new video. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Say peace out, Hope. See, guys, he's lazy.